that. So this level three is so big that we can barely fit, even fit it in. Yeah. But so how, describe what we did to make the level three so shape. We, we, this is our center level two here. And okay. we connected a ton of... Oh, oh, we didn't actually so connect them, but... Slid them into place. Okay, so we made, pick up one of the shapes that we made. So like this one. Okay, so good. So we, we decided to not connect them to just to display the shapes a little bit more. Yeah. Uh, just to make them easier to see. And how many shapes do we have? So we have, we have seven of the level twos. And, and so you're looking on the screen at, at Dave, at the picture of the level uh, three from Dave Ratcliffe's program. Yep. That he shared with us. How were you able to determine that the, this was the right shape? Well, the sides, there's, we counted, there's 54. There's 54 sides around the outside. Is there, are there any other things that you look, can look at? To well, the, all with? the angles are 120 degree angles. Oh, interesting. So, and there, yeah, because you can see that there's a bunch of hexagons, so these all are 120 degrees. Okay. And can you see... The crinkles, can you see the three yep. the crinkle shape? There's, there's kind of this crinkle shape, and there's that. So it's interesting. So we're making, we're, it turns out there's a very, um, actually amazing way to start making this fractal. You start with the hexagon in the middle. Where's that? This, this, this one. This then one. you put hexagons around it. Yep. Then you put that shape around it. Then you put that shape around it. And then you and and then, but the program does it differently. What it, what's what's different between the way we're making this shape and the way the program's the program making program this shape? The program actually draws it. The program make, only makes the outline. Yeah. Okay. What else is different? The program doesn't make hexagons. Okay. Can you think of anything else that's different? Mm. Could we make a level four? Well, no. Why not? Because it's, it's too big. big. We okay. just, the program keeps it the same size. Program keeps it the same size. Or it seems to keep it the same size. Yeah. Okay. So our way of doing it produces progressively larger and larger and larger shapes. You can, but you can imagine at each step if we shrink it. shrinking it and then making a new shape, shrinking it, making a new shape. Yeah. And so if we follow the program, strategy of keeping the shape roughly the same size. As we get bigger and bigger, we get more and more crinkles, right? Yeah. Well, I guess we have the same number of crinkles each time, but they're, they're more compact. So what do we get? What happens when we get infinitely big or infinitely many crinkles? What's happening to our shape? Well, it's, it's, it looks like it's sort of getting to look like, hmm. Well, the lines are going to, the crinkles are going to be lesser and lesser, so it's kind of going back to the hexagon shape. Maybe. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know, but one thing that's, that's neat uh, about once we get to infinity is when you go to the next step, the shape's going to be the same shape. And that's not happening here. Is our, is, as we go from step one to step two, do we get the same shape? No. Nope. Step two to step three, do we no. get the same shape? But step infinity to step infinity plus one, what happens? It's the same shape. It's the same shape. And just like in the Vi Hart video, where she showed the pi equals four, when you had infinitely many crinkles, something weird happened. Yeah. I'm going to show you something really weird that happens in, when you have infinitely many crinkles here. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go do that. 